It wasn't really a difficult decision to sign up for basics. I always enjoyed learning, I've been teaching myself to code, and I was looking out for opportunities to improve further. Basics is pretty affordable, and the referral code Kai gave me definitely helped too. At the time, I did have just a slight worry about time management. Um, I have a full-time job, and I was also doing another course on the side. So I remember thinking to myself, it was going to be a pretty hectic month. I first learned about Rocket when a friend recommended me the Coding's basic course. She knew that I was trying to learn new skills and thought that it would be suitable for me. At first, I wasn't sure if I would be able to cope um, given my full-time job and also dedicating two weeknights to the course. However, I just decided to bite the bullet and just go for it. It was honestly a roller coaster ride. There were times where I felt completely lost because I did not know how to even start on a problem. But there were also times where I felt at the top of the world because I could identify my own errors and fix my code to let it run smoothly. During class, we usually break into pairs to solve problems and this was the part that I really enjoyed because I wasn't just fumbling around on my own. Figuring things out with a partner actually allowed me to see the problem from a different perspective. Plus, you get stuck less often because two brains are definitely better than one. I had an amazing time, so learning about building mini projects is really the method that worked for me. When I was trying to teach myself to code, I was using an app. I found that the tutorials were pretty easy to follow, but they were also pretty dry and it was just easy to lose momentum. So during basics, we actually built three games. Each one was a little bit more complex than the last one. And I started to feel that I was getting addicted. So I found myself coding, fixing bugs, and refactoring my code whenever I had the free time. Looking back, I definitely put in a lot of hours, uh, but it didn't feel like a chore at all. During basics, for my final project, I built a Wordle game. It's pretty exciting because I got to try things that I've never tried before, like uh, building an on-screen keyboard, CSS animations, and creating and reading cookies. So now for my morning routine, I would play the New York Times Wordle first, and then I play my own Wordle. Just go for it. It's all right if you don't know anything about coding. We all have to start somewhere. I would say just go ahead and try it. It's really a journey about self-discovery. You will probably find out more about what you like, what you dislike, and what your strengths are, and you will also get a game of coding skills. For myself, when I decided to learn coding, I knew that software engineering is a pretty attractive career, but I wasn't necessarily thinking about career switching. I saw coding as a useful skill to have on the side. It can help me automate away simple tasks, or I can just build something useful and fun like games. So if you're like me and you have already tried learning to code on your own, it might help to sign up for a course because learning with other people and having instructors to help can really give you additional motivation and help you progress a little bit more quickly. I found it helpful to have a structured curriculum and fixed timings set aside for class because I might not have the discipline to finish an online course otherwise. Don't be intimidated by how complex it seems. Every lesson, I feel like I'm just learning a bit of this and a bit of that. And before I know it, six weeks have passed and I've created three games. When I look back at it, I'm just amazed at how much I've accomplished. Everyone can succeed as long as we set our minds to it and be open to learning, making mistakes and then learning from them. I cannot say that it will be easy, but it will definitely be worth it.